Hey there, this is Philip from Beyond the Tabletop. This is the second video in a series on how to build and paint the Cyclops Demolition Vehicle. In this video I'm covering how to put down the base colours and add the transfers to the tank. So next up is to put down my base layer. I'm going to be using Eshin Grey. Uh, so my usual routine for painting tanks is Eshin Grey followed by Scaven Blight Dinge and then a highlight of Dawnstone. So that's the recipe I'm going to be using. Uh, for these tanks. You can also see this colour scheme covered in my Storm Chimera painting guide. Now as the Eshin Grey is a Game Workshop paint I'm just going to use a small drop of the airbrush thinner from Vallejo, that's just so I can thin it down and run it through my airbrush. So here's a close-up view with the Eshin Grey now done. I've done a few different uh, coats, uh, so I did one coat that was quite light and all over and then I gradually built that up, adding in some gradients onto the model. So what I did is I sprayed more along the top. So for example, on the side of a hole, I left this bit slightly darker and then I highlighted the top section a little bit more. Uh, and then I did that all over. So for example, on the back, leaving the bottom bit slightly darker, but sort of highlighting the top bit more. It's not that visible at the moment, but it will become more pronounced as I add in the other two coats. So the next layer to add on is Scaven Blight Dinge. I'll be doing exactly the same with the Eshin Grey. Again, trying to emphasise that gradient and hopefully it'll become more pronounced. Uh, and then after this, it'll be onto the Dawnstone. And again, I'll be running this through my airbrush with the airbrush thinner. So here's what it looks like with the Scaven Blight Dinge down. So on the sides, you can definitely see the gradient becoming a bit more pronounced. Uh, that's going to be slowly built up with the next layer, which is the Dawnstone. So next up is the Dawnstone. This is just going to be used in very light sparing areas. It's pretty much the tip of the gradient. I'll also be using this paint a little later when I do the edge detail. So here you go, I've added in the Dawnstone. Uh, you can see the gradient most prominently on the sides with the Dawnstone just applied to the very top section and also slightly added in to each of these uh, large panels and onto this little unit here. And on the top I've just used it to highlight the edges sort of from here and uh, this side as well as bringing out the targeter and a couple of the other units that are sticking out from the hull. So the next step is to put the transfers down. Now to have a good surface for the transfers to stick to I'm going to put down a gloss varnish. So for the gloss varnish, I've got uh, the Liquitex gloss medium, which I can put through the airbrush. It needs thinning slightly. You can add up to 25% of water, which should be enough to put it through your airbrush. So I'm going to give this a go now, and then I'll be able to put the transfers down. As you can see, the model is now really shiny due to the gloss surface. This will help the transfers adhere to the model that much better. Now normally to adhere to the transfers I'd use Lamine Medium or Gloss Varnish. Uh, this time I'm going to use Micro Set and Micro Sol. Uh, they're going to be the kind of go-to standard for applying transfers and a lot of people do use it. I've started to use it more recently uh, which is why in some of the older videos I haven't been using it. So I'm going to give it a go in this one and show you the results. Now just down here I've got a bunch of transfers that I've already cut out ready to apply to the free tanks. A lot of them are numbers, some of them are quillers. There's a bunch of different ones. You'll be able to see them much clearer once they're on the model. So I've got the transfers down on the models. I went for quite a large tank number here. Uh, I also went for quite a large number as well because these are going to be rolled out en masse. So I didn't want the usual one, two and three. I wanted something that gave a sense that there'd be an awful lot of these produced. And also thematically, these were originally controlled by remote operators. So having a large visible number is quite important. As always, I try and have an Aquila and the word Creek somewhere on all the tanks. So on this side, I've gone for the Aquila. And on the other side, I've gone for Creek. And then again, I've got the number 14. And at the back of the targeter, I've got a little sort of serial number just to identify each one. I've tried to cut out transfers really close to the numbers. And you can just see on the shine sort of how I've done that. Now that should go once I put down another coat of gloss varnish because it should all seal it together and that transfer line should be relatively invisible in the final product. Let me just quickly show you the other tanks. Uh, so this one's number 15 and then this one is number 13. 
So overall, I think the Microsoft and Micro Set worked really well. I just need to do another coat of gloss of varnish just to help seal it in. But before I put that gloss varnish down, I might actually do some of the base layer colours for some of the other elements, such as the black on the aerial, touching up the track guard, and then doing the lens detail, and then painting the Aquila gold as well. That way, once I put the second layer of gloss varnish seaming those transfers in, the paint job will also be protected, and then it will be ready for the next step, which will be the weathering and the washes. That's all going to appear on the next video. It might get split down into two, depending on how long each one takes to film. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for future updates. Feel free to comment below and share this video with anyone that you think might enjoy it. Don't forget to visit beyondthetabletop.com for exclusive battle reports that aren't available on my YouTube channel. And for daily content, head over to my Instagram and Facebook pages. The links will be below in the description. That's all for now. Until the next video, take care.